Good morning. Welcome to the first of our Passion Week videos. As we begin our extended look at what Jesus said from Calvary, I want to read to you from Luke chapter 23. Two others who were criminals were led away to be put to death with him. When they came to the place that's called the skull, there they crucified him. And the criminals, one on his right and one on his left. And Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Those are profound words. As you think about it, Jesus has been up all night long. He's been accused of everything from blasphemy to treason. He's been beaten severely. He's been mocked abusively. He's bleeding profusely. He's so weak that he couldn't carry his own cross. And he had to be sprawled across a hewn beam. This was agony. Nails were driven into his wrists. The clothes were torn off of his body. He was in profound pain and his dignity was forgotten. The question is, why was all this happening? As we look this week at what Jesus has said, we're going to get a number of glimpses, but perhaps one way that we can understand this most fully is to remember that this all happened so that we could be forgiven. Too often we've done what we know we shouldn't do, and too often we haven't done the things that we know we should do, and we need to be forgiven for it all. And Jesus came so that the Father could forgive us because whether consciously or unconsciously, whether in our doing or whether in our not doing things, we really don't know what we're doing. And so Jesus' words fit us. See, our sins are the highest treason against the greatest being, and yet the one who never sinned took on our sins so that he could say, Father, forgive me. I hope this week, as we look at what Jesus has said from Calvary, we can all more fully appreciate the great love that the Father has for us.